our old TV took a shit. So we got a fucking flat screen! It's random ass Tuesday, bitches. No, 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 no. There's no happy time upbeat music today. I don't feel very good. My stomach hurts. And when you don't have a large intestine like I do, these, these stomach aches get a little out of hand. So I, I wasn't able to do stupid shit today. But what I do plan to use ran, this random Tuesday for is to tell you a couple of news stories you might have heard about, might have not. First story is an asteroid roughly the size of a city block is going to just miss hitting us, the planet, which I think is kind of a big deal. According to what science has discovered, dinosaurs were wiped out because an asteroid hit, it hit the ocean. Ashes and water and everything just fly up and block out the sun and fuck up everything. But I'm pretty sure one that's the size of a city block could fuck up some shit if it were to hit at the speeds that it comes in through the atmosphere. It's just something to think about, you know, how many more asteroids are going to pass by and not hit us? before a one actually does and when that does happen is it gonna be a big one that fucks up the world whatever <laughs> second story what kind of people would do something like this everybody knows the show extreme home makeover or whatever extreme makeover they come and fuck up your house and make it nice and pretty these people Serda family they used their 10 and 8 year old daughters they said they had an autoimmune deficiency so they had to wear masks in their home that had a bunch of mold in it extreme makeover went and they redid their house they put in a filtration system an elevator a floor to ceiling stone fireplace and everything and it was all a lie their kids didn't have any problems the people actually couldn't afford the higher cost of living in the house so they ended up selling it and moving to Oregon. And they used their kids. Why would you do that? Those are your children. It's just fucked up. This last story really pisses me off for a couple of reasons. This 19 year old guy from Tennessee, his name is Andrew Johnston, killed his one month old son. He was playing a fucking video game and the baby started crying and it pissed him off. So he shook the baby violently and squeezed it very, very hard. The baby died a week later from hemorrhaging of the brain. Now, that's, that's fucked up in and of itself. Like, I have a baby girl, and yes, when a baby cries nonstop, it does get a little annoying. Yeah, that happens. You just deal with it, though. You don't attack your baby. Being a parent is stressful. It's not supposed to be easy. If you are prepared to take care of this, then maybe you shouldn't have done it in the first place. This happened October 21st, 2010. He wasn't sentenced until October of this year. They had, they had the evidence, too. The autopsy of the child revealed that they had non-accidental caused injuries. And it took them a year to get this conviction. Now, the fuckers got sentenced to 27 years in prison, which I think he should serve life. You take a life, especially of a baby. You take a life, you deserve to serve life. It just... Uh... But, yeah. Those are just a couple stories I thought I'd touch base with, because they just... They kind of irked me, they interested me, and just like made me wonder what the fuck's wrong with this world. Uh, and as you guys have seen, it's I'm getting kind of homeless looking. Yeah, today's, you know, it's only November 8th. I've still got 20, 21, 22 days left to go. Uh, this is, is going to be a bitch. Later, I'm out.